Hello everybody. Hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to HIDL. From Android 14 onwards, Google has completely eliminated the concepts of HIDL. HIDL was basically used by the upper layers to communicate with the lower hardware layers. Now, AIDL is used instead of HIDL. AIDL is mandatory. So, if you are developing any applications from Android 14 onwards, targeting Android 14 onwards, we have to use AI ideal if we are communicating with the lower hardware layers this is dimple you are again welcoming you all to today's session on elimination of hidl where we'll be going through the concepts as why hidl was removed and what are the advantages of using aidl through few code samples so let's get started aidl over hidl from android 14 one of the significant architectural changes is the complete elimination of hidl which is nothing but hardware interface definition language in favor of aidl so aidl stands for android interface definition language and this shift it definitely impacts the way android devices communicate with hardware components and understanding it is very very essential for developers especially those who are working with android system or hal hardware abstraction layer development so until until android 14 it was an option there was an option of using aidl over hidl and i have done few videos you all can go through my uh, channel and you all will get few videos where i have already said that aidl you can use over hidl what are the different steps to build all those things i have told but yes from android 14s it's definitely mandatory google has made it mandatory of using aidl and it has eliminated hidl and we don't have any other way we have to use aidl but why why this shift so we'll be seeing six reasons google has provided as why this shift from hidl to aidl why hidl was completely eliminated the first reason is simplicity and unified interface definition here uh, we have an, again another topic called reduced complexity so reduced complexity why how how it will reduce the complexity of using we will see so basically having two different interface definition languages hidl for hardware communication and aidl for inter process communication which is nothing but ipc it really added complexity to android's development model right uh, there were two languages one is hidl and one is aidl it added complexity to the developer model new developers had to learn both which increased the learning curve that's definitely true right any new android developer he has to learn both hidl and aidl to develop his apps if he has any hardware dependencies that complexity was there but now since we removed hidl it really reduced complexity and another um, reason is unified approach moving entirely to aidl eliminates this duality developers now have a single interface definition language for all communication layers even for hardwares and ipc making it simpler to work across android so uh, entire android architecture if they want to communicate from one layer to another layer they now have unified approach they can use only one language and that's easy right when compared to using two different languages so that was one of the point second point why why the shift second point is improved performance and code efficiency uh which is nothing but optimized binder ipc aidl has always used binder ipc as its underlying mechanism uh which is highly optimized in android aidl we know it always uses binder ipc and it's very very optimized in android binder ipc is known for its lower latency efficient memory management and strong security model so security it has strong security model and it has efficient memory management on the other hand hidl generated lot of boiler plate code which could lead to higher memory consumption and complexity now that is 
reduced by using AIDL. Another point is why performance is improved. Another point is reduced overhead. AIDL generates more compact code compared to HIDL, resulting in reduced method call overhead and less runtime complexity. So the runtime complexity is reduced when we are using AIDL. This shift results in faster and more responsive hardware interactions. So that's why because of these two reasons, the performance improvement is there and code efficiency will be there. The third reason why the shift was done is better backward compatibility management which is nothing but versioning in AIDL. So AIDL supports explicit versioning with clear backward and forward compatibility management. This enables smoother and more controlled updates to interfaces without breaking existing functionality. So if you are um, having backward compatibility and forward compatibility, it's really good, right? So versioning in AIDL helps us to maintain both forward and backward compatibility without breaking any feature. So that was another reason for better backward compatibility management and simplified version control. HIDL had a complex approach to versioning which made maintaining and updating interfaces very very cumbersome process. AIDL on the other hand uh, is more flexible with its versioning support provides a more stable evolution path for hardware and system interfaces. So HIDL had a very, very cumbersome versioning process, whereas versioning process is simplified when we are using AIDL. That was another major reason why Google has decided to eliminate HIDL. The next point is improved maintenance and consistency. Why this maintenance and consistency is improved is easier maintenance because with HIDL and AIDL coexisting, developers often faced inconsistencies and issues while transitioning between the two systems. By moving to AIDL, developers no longer need to maintain separate implementations for HIDL based and AIDL based interfaces. So if the real, actually the real developer knows this problem. So he had to make sure that both AIDL and HIDL coexist. Every API should be coexisting. And it was uh, very difficult and they often faced inconsistency and issues while transitioning between these two. So it's very easy now, right? Maintenance is very easy because throughout the entire Android architecture, we are using only AIDL. Consistent tooling. Google's long-term goal is to reduce the fragmentation in Android's development tools. AIDL consolidates the tool chain, simplifying debugging, code generation, and testing for developers. The next reason is alignment with modularity version. The point is project treble goals which supports this decision. One of the core goal, we all know that one of the core goal of project treble was to make Android modular which allows faster updates to the Android framework independent of the underlying vendor code. So if you all go through my videos, I have done a video on project treble, what were its goals and many important details. So AIDL's backward compatible structure and efficient code generation align better with Project Treble's objectives, enabling faster system updates and improved long-term support for Android devices. Uh, basically, what was happening is uh, whenever Google releases a new version, uh, that new version was not available to the immediate users uh, very quickly. It would take some time, okay, maybe six months to one year time. If Google released Android 10 this year, the users could use Android 10 in the next year. That was because there was a dependency on the hardware uh, vendors. So through this project treble, what Google did is re to reduce the dependency see they made everything modular so that was uh, the main goal of google making everything modular and um, extending this project mainline android is increasingly moving more components to be 
are updatable via project mainline and AIDL's compatibility guarantees makes it easier for Google to update hardware interfaces and system components via mainline updates reducing fragmentation in vendor implementations. Also I have done what is this uh, project mainline on this also there is one uh, video I have done if you are not sure about this project mainline if you all have any doubts please go through my video get it clarified so these two were another uh, re important reasons why Google decided to shift to AIDL completely the last reason is more developer friendly and modern language support so there is language flexibility AIDL is more compatible with Java Kotlin and C++ code with modern Android development favors so this simplifies integrating uh, AIDL based services across Android ecosystem so it was very easy and flexible better development support also with extensive documentation better tools and larger community AIDL has more comprehensive support compared to HIDL making the developer experience significantly better so these were the reasons why Google has decided to completely eliminate HIDL and bring in AIDL we, we we were having so many questions why Google came to this decision seeing all these points going through all these six points yes it definitely made it clear let's move on uh, just to brief HIDL was introduced in Android 8 that is Oreo as a way to standardize how Android HALs interact with the Android framework designed to enable modular system upgrades and maintain backward compatibility with older devices okay so uh, we all know HIDL uses .HAL files to define their interfaces and generating C, C++ code to communicate with other system services so all these .HAL files were the ones with HIDL and uh, it basically used C++ to communicate with other Android system services again to brief about AIDL AIDL was introduced very very earlier from the beginning itself for inter-process communication between different components of Android applications initially it was used in applications and framework layer yes we all know that AIDL is more powerful and simpler when compared to HIDL and Android 14 officially replaces HIDL with AIDL for all new HALs consolidate, consolidating both framework and system level communications let's see uh, code comparison examples now uh, basically uh, this is HIDL uh, definition of a basic hardware service you all can think of this file name as uh, example.hal first I'll be going through HIDL then I'll be going through AIDL so that uh, you all will uh, get it easily and you all will understand it easily why uh, AIDL is easier compared to HIDL so this is just an .hal file and we are just declaring the package name and we are defining an interface interface is uh, name is I example and just we are calling a method called hello world this is my example.hal file and here is my service implementation so this interface I'll be using in other file right in my C++ file where where I uh, communicate with system services so there I basically uh, use this example so here I'm using this is written using C++ so I'm using uh, this I example.hal file and we are using default pass through service implementation so basically in the constructor what we are doing uh, when we call the hello world function we are just returning hello from HIDL string and this is important here inside the main function we are seeing return default pass through service implementation if you all have gone through my uh, videos in my channel I have explained what are the different types of HIDL available pass through HIDL and whereas binderized HIDL and the detailed architecture too I have explained so default pass through service implementation and here I am passing the class name okay so this default value indicates that this is the default implementation provided by HIDL 
I hope you all understood. This is the default implementation provided by HIDL and pass through service uh, refers to the nature of this service. So pass through service provides a direct connection between Android framework and HIDL implementation. It basically it bypasses certain levels of indirection that might exist in binderized model so from the framework to the hil direct connection is given when we use this pass through service and this is nothing but the class name or type that implements this hidl interface so i hope you all understood this part we have our uh, uh, example.hil where we are just declaring an interface and we have uh, another service file where we are basically using this interface that was about HIDL now we'll come to AIDL in AIDL we are declaring an AIDL file okay so interface and I example you are also same uh, the file name is I example and your string hello world itself I'm declaring this is an interface. This is Java implementation of AIDL. So I'm using some class which is extending my AIDL and I'm uh, basically defining what that function will do. Here I'm just returning hello from AIDL function. And this is the registration of AIDL service. So there is a main function and I'm creating an instance of example service. So this is the class which is using my AIDL, right? So AIDL code is written in .AIDL file and that .AIDL file is used in another class. And in my main function, I'm just creating an instance of that class which is using AIDL and I'm calling service manager .add service. So this line service manager .add service will basically create a new service and pass these parameters so y'all can observe see the number of code lines in AIDL and HIDL implementation which is easy to understand through this example y'all can definitely directly decide which is easy HIDL or AIDL AIDL is more uh, easier more readable and more user friendly so I hope this session was helpful you all got an understanding as uh, why Google decided to completely eliminate HIDL and take over AIDL thanks everyone for watching in my next session I'll definitely come up with few code examples of AIDL and HIDL uh, please stay tuned in dimple signing off bye bye